now this looks a lot better using the uh, light on the phone instead of a flashlight in the pump. Alright, to wrap this up, this hose was taped to the white hose with a little bit of tape and cut it off. This end here was on the original line that went through the case there. When you pull the original line back and reach on the other side of that clear grommet I was showing you in the other video, you can feel this end right here and just squeeze it real hard and pull and it'll pop off the check valve that's on the other side of that. Just leave the check valve in there. It'll just hang off of the canister that's going to stay back in there. Here's the new hose I ran. And the vacuum canister I'm using is a Dorman 47076. I mentioned putting a check valve in and as I was hooking this up today I realized this already has a check valve in it. There is a large port and a small port with a little cover. I had hooked it up temporarily waiting on my check valve to arrive and it wasn't working. And that's how I found out that this must have a check valve so I hooked up a hose and blew through it and sure enough there's a check valve built in to this particular vacuum canister. You'll need to check whatever vacuum canister you choose to use. I like this one because it has an ear that'll go over this stud that's already there. You can get a 6x1.0 nut with a big washer on it, flange nut. Tighten down and it's almost like a factory deal in here. Fits real good, stays out of the way of everything. Hook up your vacuum supply to the larger port. Again, I'm using 5 30 seconds line. It does not want to go over that large port, so you can either adapt it or force it on either way. It will go if you keep just working with it. It will get up on there. I'll probably trim this line back rather than leaving it like that. But just doing this for the video right now. And then that unit plugs on there, fits nicely. It's good, and we've got air. And that's it. Hope this helps you guys out. If any of y'all are fighting this, I've done a bunch of these vans where I've tried to fight it and get to the back of the canister through there. I've done it a bunch of different ways, but this way is the easiest I've found, and it works excellent.